watching me blow on this reefer. It's only me and my Nina. Fell in love with a light skin, I love the cocaine. Fell in love with a light skin, I love the cocaine. I just whip up the work. What's up, guys? So, today is gonna be a little vlog sort of thing. Um, today, I'm gonna go pick up my check. Hopefully, it's, it's there. And I'm gonna go pick up my little sister Ebony, the one that you guys saw in my last vlog. So, let's go. Let's go do that right now. And uh, yeah, let's go get some. Get, like, foggy in, in here, like the windows and stuff. Alright guys, so while I'm going to work, while I'm going to go get my paycheck, um, there's a cop right in front of me. So I'm gonna go get my paycheck. I want to, uh, what's called? I want to talk to you guys about my one year ownership of my FRS because I'm sorry it's so shaky this is this is not a GoPro this is mounted on the Galaxy with the little Walmart thing but but yeah supposedly the supposedly the um passenger seat is uh is saying that there's somebody in the passenger seat but there's nobody Probably because the phone or something, I don't know. I own the FRS for almost, yeah, over a year already. It's about to be two years in July 2017. So I've, I've owned it uh, quite some time and, you know, I had a lot of experiences with it, you know, with the clutch and, uh, and all that stuff. Um, so I just wanted to talk to you guys about how, how it's been. So... The first day we went to go get the uh, FRS, it I was like, what? Like, like it, it looked pretty cool, but to me, I wasn't really that into it. I don't know. It's probably because it already had the rims that that I have on the car already, and they were like kind of like gun metal ish, and they I don't know. I just kind of didn't like that. So, um, and then at the time, I would always. Uh, hang out with my mom and my little brother and my other brother I mean my little sister and my little brother so um, so we never really like had a practical car to like you know to be in to like to uh, to what's called we never really had a car that was a small little coupe car that could only fit like two people and that's what we thought we thought this car could only fit two people and it wasn't gonna be practical, you know? So that's what I told my mom. I was like, hey, you know what? Like, yeah, we're gonna buy this car, but the back seats are useless, are useless. Um, now that I've owned, uh, I'll talk to you guys about that, but that's that's how I felt. I was like, no, the back seats are useless. We're not gonna be able to have this car if, you know, we're still gonna be uh, with my little brother and stuff like that, my little brother, sister, and everybody else. So, um. So I was like, no, nah, let's just wait on it. So we waited on it and then we went back home and then we were looking at other cars. We were like, whoa, like, look at this car. And I was gonna get a Honda uh, hatchback, a Civic, a Honda Civic hatchback, 1998. The, um, I think they're the EGs or the, But I was gonna get a Honda Civic hatchback and I was gonna fix it up. I was so excited. I was like, yeah, like I'm gonna buy um, a little cheap car. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna fix it up really nice. You know, it's gonna be my first car. And at the time, I knew how to drive stick shift since I was 12. I I, um, I learned from my my dad, my stepdad. He he taught me how to drive with his Honda Civic. And. Um, so I already knew how to drive stick shift, so they weren't, it wasn't a problem for them to get me a stick shift car, and, you know, and, uh, and, uh, what's it called? So I was just looking into cars like that, I was looking into Hondas, you know, um, Volkswagens, hatchbacks, I really like hatchbacks, um, 
if, if I could get a hatchback, I would get the Subaru STI WRX hatchback. That would be like super nice. But um, yeah, so we were looking into that, and we found a uh, Volkswagen GT uh, 2009 for 10 grand. And we were we were on our way to go get it, and we were like, ex I was hella excited. I was like, yeah, I I missed school that day. I went to um. I went to my mom's work and uh, I was chilling there for the whole day until she got out. Once she got out of work, we went to go, uh, no, we called the guy and we were like, hey, do you still have the car and everything? And then he goes and he tells me, no, we just sold it today. And uh, you know, so there's no more, it's, it's not here anymore. And it was all black, it had tinted windows, black rims. It was a really nice, you know, Volkswagen GT, a hatchback. And um
Okay, so I would go and I would do like donuts and stuff like that. I'd put up some uh, videos of like me doing donuts and stuff. <laughs> It was really, it, it was fun, but I'm telling you guys right now, do not do that. Like, it's not worth it. It really isn't. And I learned from my mistakes. You guys can call me stupid, I don't care. I learned from my mistakes, and now I'm not gonna do it ever again. So, so that's what happened. I was doing donuts, I would take off on the car, you know, I would like treat it, treat the club really bad. I would drive it good, but I will just do donuts and stuff like that, practically like every week for like, I don't know, like probably like three months. So it was really bad. So eventually the clutch just like, it worn out. And one, one day when I was driving to, uh, from, from work to back to my house, um, I heard like a noise like, like if there was a whole bunch of air coming out of the car. And I was trying to see like if there was a, a, um, But I was trying to see if there was like some like loose thing that was like setting off air. And I was looking at it and there was nothing. I thought it was the tires pop or something. It just sounded like a whole bunch of air and stuff. So I was just looking and then uh, nothing happened. And there was, they, at my job, they usually make like a car meet. So there's a whole bunch of like little cars and stuff like that. Um, that a whole bunch of people that go there. So I asked the car guys, I was like, hey guys, like, do you guys know what the sound is? Like, can you guys help me out? And uh, the guy said, oh bro, it's your blow-off valve. Like, your blow-off valve, like, blew out. Like, you know? I was like, oh shit. Like, I told him, I'm like, is it safe to drive home and everything? He was like, yeah, just just don't keep switching gears, you know? Like, keep it in fifth or sixth gear in the freeway and just go home. So I just went home like that and, uh, it, it, it wasn't, uh, the car kept like turning off on me and everything. I'm sure you guys seen the video of uh, when my clutch broke. So it kept turning off and, uh, and that's what happened. So the clutch broke, I kept it in the in the garage for, I kept it in the garage for quite some time, probably like two, three months. It was so bad. I wanted to drive the car so bad, guys. Like you don't even, oh my God, it's crazy. So I was just driving like my mom's car and stuff like that my mom's car, my mom's, uh, my dad's car to uh, school and I just wanted to drive my car so bad. Um, so after that, uh, I was looking into clutches and I was like, you know, let's do an upgrade. So I went for the uh, stage two competition clutch and uh, I had this one guy like put it on for me. Uh, these guys at Corona, we, he did it for me and then uh, the clutch came out good. It's just that first gear is kind of hard to get into. But you know, it's, uh, it's what I have for now. And uh, it, it works perfectly fine right now. Uh, what else? The, uh, the interior. The interior, uh, it's, it's really basic, but it's enough for me. Like, if, I don't know, if you guys are kind of like me, like you guys don't really care about like so much luxury and stuff like that. Like this is like perfect for me. Like, I don't care if there's no touch screen or, you know, I don't care if like there's no, you know, crazy buttons like this is perfect like just simple let's go like it's ready to go oh there's an accident yeah so the interior is good i uh as you can see as you guys can see i fixed it up right here i put uh, carbon fiber i put carbon fiber up there you guys can see in my other video i put carbon fiber here just just a little wrap from AutoZone, you know i didn't know about carbon fiber <laughs> If I did, I would go for the 5D, but this is, I think, 3D carbon fiber, and, you know, it's alright. It looks good for the first uh, lap, but, um, but yeah, so, I'm gonna be taking this off soon enough and putting, uh, some different stuff. I wanna put, like, color into the interior, you know, not just all black. I wanna put some color into it, but, uh, but yeah, so I got these guys right here, um, when I, cause I drive, uh, one hour to work so every you know every day I would I'd always get like like scratched up right here and like I would be moving a lot because I'd like move my head and stuff so this would like kind of scratch me the seatbelt because I, I can't I don't put it on the little latches because like I, I always like drive my friends to school and like I do stuff with them um, I'm always constantly like rec reclining the seats and like putting them back and forth 
So there's no reason for me to put the uh, seatbelt on the thing. So I would always have, have it on my neck. So I just bought these from, uh, I think it was eBay for like $30. And, uh, and they were good, like they were nice and cushiony. They, they look great, you know, I like what they say, cypher. So that's what, that's what I have right now. And, uh, let's see what else. Oh, the gas mileage. The gas mileage is uh, it's really good. I forgot how much it was. I put I, I don't know if I put a picture up or like something, but the gas mileage is pretty good. Um, you could basically go for my driving, my style of driving. I can probably go five to six hours with the full tank of driving. Five to six hours. So that's 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 good in the freeway. Um, I don't know city. I don't know about city, but but it's pretty good. Oh, one thing I like about this car is that you can put, when you shift, you can put uh, what gear you are, who you are on. And now I'll demonstrate how to do it. I'll demonstrate how to do it in another video, but you can you can put what gear you're on and how to switch it. So let's say you go to second gear, it tells you in the little, in the um, RPM, the RPM one, the middle one, it tells you what gear you're on. So it tells you you're in second gear, once you shift to third gear, it tells you you're in third gear. So that's, I, I really like that feature, you know. It's it's kind of a unique feature that this car has. And... So the mods. The mods I did to this car is a lot. I'm sure you guys will see my videos. But the tail lights, I didn't really like the tail lights that much. It kind of looked like it was cross-eyed or something. Like the car was cross-eyed. But... At night, the car looks sick. Like when you turn on those uh, stock tail lights, the car looks pretty good. But in in the daylight, I don't like how it has chrome like in the middle, and then like it looks cross. I I, I didn't like that. So I was like, you know what? The tail lights have to go. So that's why I got the Valenti tail lights uh, for 400 at FT86 factory. Like so modern with like the the LED strip like that like they look good. Okay, so visibility, um, visibility out of this car, it's it's really good. Like your uh, your your blind spots, the blind spots aren't even that bad. Like they, all you have to do is just look like that and you're good. If you look through this little uh, back window, you're you're good. And then if you get um, you know if you get your mirrors like correctly put. You'll, you'll be fine. Blind spots and everything is, is perfectly fine. The only thing I noticed about this car is when I got tinted windows, it was so hard to see outside. From and that's that's because I got the limo tints, the five percent limo tint in the back and the just the back ones. These ones are thirty five percent, so it's not that bad. But in the back one, when I got the back limo tints, oh my god, they were so like dark, like I couldn't see anything. But you get used to it, like I got used to it in like a week, so it, it was good and looks great. I, I like the lim, you know, limo tint. Oh, and a lot of people complain about the uh, the speakers of this car, and I don't know, I guess if, you, if you've been in a car with like really nice speakers, with like Bose speakers or something, like yeah, you'll probably complain about it. But if you're like a guy like me and you're just like, you know, I just want to get a car and like, you know, you want your music for sure. Um, the speakers are, are well, like they work perfectly fine. Like I'll put rock music, metal, you know, bass music, you know, any kind of music I'll put in here and it'll sound good. It'll sound perfect for me. Like um, if you turn it up a little too high, yeah, it does sound like like it hurts your ears. But, you know, you, you shouldn't have it that high that um that it like messes up your ears because even if you do have it that high like it, it, it kind of sounds like bad in any car so i have it decently high it's probably like at 45 45 percent and that's like almost i have like at 45 percent and that's like almost the max 50 is the max 50 is probably like a little too much but 45 that's perfect i guess the only complaint that i have about this car is um is when you drive in the rain it's so scary like 
It's crazy. I've driven in the rain lots of times. I went to Canada and uh, you know, I don't know if you guys live in Canada, but it rains a lot over there, you know, when you're driving through Seattle and stuff like that. It rains a lot. So I've driven in the, uh, from, like I have a lot of experience driving in the rain. And once I got into this car and we, you drive in the rain like today and stuff, it, it gets you pretty, uh, pretty focused into what you're doing. Um, today it's not driving, it's not raining that hard. But when it is, like at night or something, like the car is like, it's probably because I don't have, um, you know, like, uh, it's called the, like the water tires and stuff like that. I have pretty uh, meaty tires and they don't have that much thread on them. That's probably why. But all I gotta say from my car is that in the rain it goes like, and then if there's a whole bunch of like, if there's a whole bunch of like wind, the whole car goes like to the side and stuff like that. And it's, it's pretty scary. You really have to be like super focused to, uh, to drive in the rain. Um, at least in my car. Or, you know, I've seen like TJ Hunt's video, like he, he gets pretty scared on that one too. So I'm gonna do another video about the back seats and how practical they really are because a lot of people say that, oh, the back seats on the FRS, they're useless. Like, you know, it, like me, like I looked at the back seats on the FRS, I was like, bro, like, what is that? Is that a joke? Like, come on, like just make it a two, two door coupe or something, you know? Like a 350C. But it's actually like really practical. Like, I'll, I'll show you guys when uh, I get all my friends together and we uh, make a video. The back seats are really good, like I'm telling you guys, the back seats are good. The FRS is not fast at all. It, it's not fast. Um, even me, like I've drove in like, you know, like simple cars. The FRS isn't fast, but that's, that's not all, that's not what every car needs, you know? They don't need to be fast, they don't need to, you know, have good handling or whatever. They just need to like, you know, you just need to like it. Like, if you like the car that you're in, then go for it. If you like a Honda Civic, if you like a freaking, I don't know, Genesis or SUV, whatever. If you like it, then, you know, it's, it's your car. Like, this car, like, I love how the handling is. I love how it feels in my hands, you know, everything about this car is like perfect for me like I, I wouldn't change it i would probably put like a turbo or something down the line but right now it's it's awesome Alright guys, so that's going to be the end of this video. Um, I hope you guys like this vlog. Uh, I'll try to do some more of these. I know that you guys um, like this, this kind of stuff. So let's get to this, uh, to the, to that one question. Um, all right. So as you guys can, as you guys know by now, all right. So as you guys know by now, um, 